Hi guys, I'm Michael from Stillwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona here. Today I wanted to make a video on the difference between V-Pro or vacuum packed plate design and uh, wet sand casting plate design. Now, um, a lot of times we talk about this with you guys when you come in because sometimes people come in and they say, well, I want a piano that it doesn't sound very tinny. I don't want a bright sounding piano. I want a warm, rich sound with round tones and no tinny sound. Um, a lot of that tone comes from obviously the hammers, but also from the plate or what a lot of people call the harp. Right here I have, this is a 1970s Baldwin L. This is a handmade piano. We're refinishing the lid so it's still on its side right now. But this is the plate. Um, handmade pianos always have wet sand casting plates. And what that means is when they make this plate, it's almost like a form, like an ice tray. And it's, it's set up like this, they pour hot cast iron into it and then they slowly put wet sand on top of it. And that allows this plate to cure, to dry very, very slowly. Um, and what that does is it gives it kind of this more rich bell-like tone. Um, it, and it normally takes about six months for a plate to fully cure um, when it's made in the wet sand casting way. Now, Yamaha in the 70s, I believe, it might have even been in the 60s, I've kind of seen, I've seen Yamahas from the 70s with wet sand casted plates and I've also seen them with V-Pro or vacuum packed plates, but they came up with V-Pro. And what that means is they basically have a form like this, upright, they pour hot cast iron into it, they suck all the air out, they vacuum suck all the air out, they dip it in water and all of a sudden you got a plate in about four and a half minutes. Now for a manufacturer to either have six months for a plate to cure or four and a half minutes, they're probably gonna choose this. Who's gonna do that? The cheaper ones. So um, Yamaha is kind of this exception. Yamaha's and in, in Kawai, Japanese pianos have kind of branded themselves as this like bright, biting, kind of more sharp tones. Um, so a lot of them use um, V-Pro still. But they're really, really high end. The CFX, the handmade pianos, the S series, those all have wet sand cast plates. These are the you know ninety thousand and up uh, dollar pianos. But every other handmade high end piano, I'm talking Bosendorfer, Schimmel, Bechstein, Blutner, Seiler, Zauder, or uh, Sauter, um, literally Fazioli, any Steinway that you can think of, they're always going to have wet sand cast plate because it gives it this nice round, rich tone. Um, an interesting thing is lately there's been a lot of manufacturers from Asia who are kind of giving up this V-Pro cheap way of doing it and they're going back to wet sand casting. I know Hyloon's doing it, um, uh, Broadman's doing it, um, we're a Zeiler dealer, Zeiler is doing it, um, and it's just creating a lot more of a rich warm tone which in Arizona a lot of people are asking us for. Um, we sell pianos all over the country, I would guess um, probably about 15 to 20 of our pianos a month leave the state but a lot of them stay here and here in Arizona everybody has tile and open floor plans and you know having a really bright tinny piano in a room like that can kind of drive you crazy so we saw a lot of wet sand cast plates just because when we show the customer the difference they can really really hear it it's a really pronounced difference but anyways guys, that's kind of the difference between wet sand casting and V-Pro. If you guys have any piano related questions, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. You can always give us a call as well at 480-207-6645. Thanks for watching guys, talk to you soon.